don't let something like this scare you because it's really pretty simple, all right? Um, here, we're trying to take the sine of the inverse sine of a negative one-fourth. All right, so first look, sine inverse, sorry, inverse sine of negative one-fourth. Is it possible to take the inverse sine of a negative one-fourth? Yes, it's possible because that value, negative one-fourth, is between zero and one. There is an angle that will possibly get a negative one-fourth as our sine value. It's possible because that is between negative one and one, it is possible to get that value out. So whatever this ends up being, there's some angle that creates that negative one fourth, okay? So this is sine of some angle that creates a negative one fourth. So the sine of that angle must be negative one fourth. It's that simple. Okay. To put in the simpler terms, the sine and the inverse sine undo each other because we are allowed to take the inverse sine of negative one fourth. Then all is good. They undo each other. We get out a negative one fourth. It's it's it's, it's like that. Arc tan tangent of pi over 2. Well, tangent of pi over 2, can we take the tangent of pi over 2? We can look at the unit circle and say pi over 2, okay, that's a 0, 1, 1 divided by, oh, tangent of pi over 2 is, a, that does not exist. And so the arctan of does not exist, this does not exist. Because we had an error in there, it kind of just, it's done, all right? Finally, arc sine of sine of seven pi over four, yes, you know what you're thinking, arc sine and sine, they do, they do undo each other, and it, it, is, it is pretty much as simple as that. But what angle gives us the sine of seven pi over four? Well, whenever we find arc sine, we know we have that restricted domain between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. 7 pi over 4 is not between those. We want the answer to be that coterminal angle. It's going to be that negative pi over 4. So sine of 7 pi over 4, if you want to think through it this way, sine of 7 pi over 4 would be a negative root 2 over 2. And the arc sine of negative root 2 over 2 would be a negative pi over 4. We would not be giving that 7 pi over 4 as our answer because that's not in our restricted domain.